My name is uh, Michael Minetti. I'm a staff scientist here at LCLS at Slack National Accelerator Laboratory, uh, and I am the department head for the soft x-ray department at LCLS. So we uh, here, at, for the very first time at LCLS, we have taken a molecular movie of a gas phase chemical reaction uh, using the ultra-fast capabilities of LCLS. We chose to look at and monitor a chemical by the name of 1,3-cyclohexadiene because the reaction is quite well known over the last 30 or 40 years uh, that this, this molecule undergoes a ring altering or a structural changing event when optical laser light is shined upon it. These type of ring opening reactions are very common even in, in, in natural product biology. But what wasn't known are the exact time scales at which how these structural dynamics occur and how the structure actually evolves in time. To take these images, we use a technique called X-ray scattering. As the molecules populate our custom-built scattering X-ray scattering vessel, as the X-rays progress through the, the, the target molecule, they scatter. And as the scattering pattern occurs, the X-rays or the scattered X-rays are collected on a large area uh, X-ray detector. So as these things scatter on the detector, the, their positions are very meaningful, and that's how you infer back what's going on in the molecule as its structure is evolving. So we produced the molecular movie by looking at a series of time-delayed pictures probed by the X-ray pulse. So we have an optical pulse that sets the reaction afoot, and then we come with this ultra-bright source in LCLS, and we take little snapshots at different time delays uh, between the optical pulse and the X-ray, that being LCLS. And then we sew these frames, individual frames, back together, and we were able to watch this chemical reaction unfold on a very fast time scale. This is on the order of 100 to 200 quadrillionths of a second, or a sliver of time, or 200 millionths of a billionth of a second. These results are very significant to the LCLS because when LCLS was first envisioned and designed an X-ray source that had the brightest X-rays in coming in the smallest slivers of time, they wanted to look at molecular reactions in real time and try to film these molecules in action and, again, to make a molecular movie. I believe the, the, the selling point for LCLS, when LCLS was first made, it was capturing the ultra-small on the ultra-fast, and we have done both in this experiment.